Okay, I'm at another site. Silent night, 6808. We've had an alarm on a heat detector. Fire alarm. Unit G, heat, info. Heat detector, attic. Unit G. All right, this, this may be on us, but there is definitely some, a little bit of a mystery here. Um, when we set this job up, I think, I think it was a mistake that we used um, SK Heat W's and not the HT's. We're switching them out to HT's right now. But I think the thing that led, led us to this was we used the HFSS uh, suite to program our devices, our, our systems. So here we go. Here's, here's some devices. They are stray heat detectors. But um, under the zones, the input zones, they have this nice little column here, heat sensitivity, which when you click on this, when you right click on this, it comes right up and it says, enter a numeric value between 135 and 190. So as I'm looking at this now, here's the instructions for the heat detectors. Fixed temperature rating, 135. High temperature rating, 190. Rate of rise. This doesn't say anything about variable, a variable temperature setting. And here's the question, what, what does that apply to? You know, I, th I think when we installed this, we thought that somehow that applied to an SK Heat W because we set it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit which should not have tripped. I mean, experience is telling us now these attics get to 140 on a hot day. I, I, I don't see it getting to 165, but yet it tripped. So I believe it probably saw 135 and tripped because that's what they are. So what the heck is this for? What, how, how, how does this work? There's no information here. There's no instructions that tells us how that actually works. Does that work with the standard heat or the high temperature heat or both or not at all it, it doesn't work it, I mean if it, if it doesn't work if this isn't doing something then this shouldn't even be here it should be grayed out um, yeah we were probably wrong in putting the standard temperature detectors in here but but what device does this work with that it actually lets you set a numeric value between 135 and 190 is that only the HTs Maybe that's it. Maybe it works with the HTs up to 190. But doesn't say that. It sure be nice to know. Anyway, that's it for my video for now. Okay, I think I figured out the mystery of this. So it would be nice if they were clear in their documentation, both in their written documentation and in the software. That um, so this is before. So before I change the programming, change the detectors. So this is. Uh, with regular heat detectors, H, uh, I'm sorry, they're SK heats, and in the sensitivity column on the zone, I have it set at 165, but as you see here, it says 135, and this, this next column here, I can't read what it says, because it's not, it's the ATL, alarm temperature, I guess, is probably what that is, so that's saying that the alarm temperature is 135, um, so that's before. So even though I set that to 165, it says 135. So maybe the regular heat is a maximum of 135. But when I open up another file here, the uh, one that I just took, oops, yeah, that's it. So I, I, I changed them all to, well, we're changing them to high temperature heats. So uh, one of those is not changed yet. But, um, um, so it says wrong type right there, because we haven't been able to get into that unit. But I changed them all to 190, but just for kicks, I left one of the software zones. I changed all of them to 190, except for this one, I left at 165. So with the high temperature detector, it says 165, and the ATL is 165. So apparently that column only applies to high temperature heat detectors. So good to know. It would be really nice if that was documented somehow where it was, we were able to find that. Anyway, thank you.